Hey guys, good morning. Hear the treadmill? Somebody is running on it. I think you guys know who that is. Let's mention I'm having a good old sugar drop and good old time over here. So no, my sugar is not low just yet, but it is um, dropping rapidly. So it's dropping pretty quick. Before I had um, on my CGM, and I can't show you guys on my phone right now, but I had double arrows down, and right now I have one arrow down. So it's saying I'm 181, but that was five minutes ago. And um, obviously that's not low, but a little while ago, like five minutes ago, I was in the 200s. So I am going to check, and um, I will let you guys know what I am now. So um, within 10 minutes, I'll tell you guys what I have dropped. Not too bad. So I was um, 2.05 um, about 10 minutes ago, maybe a little less than 10 minutes ago, and now I am 188, which really is not bad. Um, I was always told CF diabetics drop quicker. I know for me as a CF diabetic, I drop a lot quicker than a normal type 1 diabetic, but that really wasn't even a quick drop. I just felt it. It was a quick drop from, I was dropping quicker earlier than what I had shown you guys. So according to my CGM, I was like 280 and within 20 minutes I went from 280 to 205. So that was a quick drop, but um, now I'm not dropping as much because my pump is off. I was actually in the middle of changing my pump, so I just left my... Um, pump off in between changing sites so that helped a little bit without me crashing and um there it goes beeping and um now I'll get my pump back on and the rest of my active insulin should carry me down to normal to 120 and um the other reason why I didn't come crashing down as quick as earlier a little while ago was because obviously the pump was off from changing the site and also I had a couple of sour patch I had like three of them which is about like maybe like nine carbs so that instant sugar helped keep me from crashing so um yeah so that was a good combination for now but it's time to get my pump back on and set up a new site and uh i will see you guys later hey guys i'm home and look who's on the treadmill me getting her workout on which is good and as you guys know we got the treadmill brought it home and we're getting some use out of it. Pretty big, pretty heavy. Those are my shoes. Shoes are wearing hers. I've been on it for about a half hour today. Um, I gotta get back in the groove. Officially dinner time. Some McDonald's french fries and chicken nuggets. She was in the mood. So, uh, that's what we got. We shared a 20 piece, but there's still more. Let's see. And then we shared a large fry. I didn't really explain my appetite situation. But... Oh no. Pretty much what's been going on is that um, <clears throat> Jillian's appetite hasn't been too great. So she's been losing weight. I don't know if you can tell, but she's a little skinnier. She doesn't look, you know, sick or anything, but... I'm definitely lost some weight. She was 117 yesterday at the doctor. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Usually she's like 122, 23. Oh, I explained about the chores, but I didn't explain about. So pretty much, um, the... yeah, she hasn't been having yeah. much of an appetite. So it's great that she's eating now, but it's like my first meal of the day. Typically, she's not eating much, so um, the doctors want to put her on like a uh, appetite enhancing medication Which so is that she can a, eat. It's actually an antihistamine. So that's what they use to get you to. Uh, it's a specific antihistamine that enhances your appetite. Don't mind if I steal a fry over here. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so I'm getting fun. full off five um, chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets, which I mean, these really aren't real chicken nuggets, now, are they? <laughs> They're tiny. But so, I'm glad you're eating something. Though. Oh, me too. Because the only thing I've really eaten today was um, <clears throat> two yogurts. Waffles. Two Eggo waffles, not like real waffles. An intro. And an intro. Oh, and a Nutella with breadsticks. They're more like snacks that I've been having. Yeah. I haven't really wanted food food. Now that it So I'm just eating enough to get by. But. Yeah. And now this. But this is a big Jill, meal for me for today. Jillian's appetite is good. She could eat you out of a house. 
Literally. I'll even eat the house. <laughs> like the termites. Guys, happy Saturday. It's lunchtime. Hello. I'm always putting something in my mouth. <laughs> Look at that fire right there. Oh, MG. Yeah, you've got some grilled chicken and broccoli. broccoli and I just had a soup. He had a soup. Oh, he's got mashed potatoes. I got a grilled cheese and ham, my favorite. My appetite's a little better. And we also have some um, delicious garlic bread here. And um, some delicious coleslaw and pickles. So that's about it. And uh, we're gonna enjoy that. And Rosario has uh, later hours today work, but he only has, what, four hours? Yep. Four or five hours, so. Uh, he had earlier hours off today, so that was nice. We got to relax and sleep in. And, um, yeah. That's really it. Oh, and yesterday we were excited because we finally got to um, pick up something from our wedding, which we should have actually had on our wedding night. That kind of got lost. And um, it was a video that um, we showed before our daughter to us and removal thing. And um, so we finally got it on a USB. And unfortunately, um, I'll explain it to you guys later, but the raw footage of it got lost, which sucks. And we were really upset about that for a while, but um, we finally got the final cut of it. So we were excited about that, so that will keep in a safe place. And so that was exciting to get last night. And um, yeah, so that's really it. And gonna enjoy our lunch so maybe I don't know if there's somehow we can show you a little bit of that in the vlog but it's really funny and uh, it was one of my crazy ideas to do so I'll explain that later guys I'm back Rosario's at work he had a four-hour shift tonight five hours and um I am just doing my nighttime chest PT with my vest, it's me and my vest, so I wanted to get that done early because I am feeling pretty exhausted and tired, and I'm getting tired at night a lot, especially uh, I'm coughing or I'm not feeling too great, so uh, I want to get this done early before I get too tired and fall asleep. Guys, so I am just setting up my antibiotic that goes in my nebulizer, so I just took it out of the vial which was in the fridge that we um set up this morning we mixed it so now i'm just gonna put that in the nebulizer here that i just finished having um just it's all nice and clean just finished cleaning it all right so the syringe is ready for the sharps container and now i'm just gonna put my mouthpiece on here and it's time to go Hook it up to my nebulizer and do that for 15 minutes. Hey guys, so I did find the energy to finally cook. So behind me, I got on the stove some chicken broth going for my spinach and shrimp risotto. And I just cl finished cleaning my shrimp. And um, here I have the... Um, I just finished sauteing in some olive oil um onion and garlic and here i have the rice i'm using brown rice and now we're just toasting the rice and once i see it start to toast a little bit for about three minutes there's some olive oil in there from the um garlic and uh onion and i'm going to uh start adding in a ladle at a time or a scoop at a time whatever you want to call it or if you're italian you'd call it a cupina at a time of the, uh, the chicken broth and once the rice starts sucking up all that broth and it becomes tender the rice then you could start adding in I'm gonna do spinach so I'm gonna add in baby spinach fresh baby spinach and um, you don't have to cook it prior you just throw that in and it starts getting soft and then um, I'm gonna add in the shrimp and it cooks right now. Once those turn orange, it's all done. And it is delicious. And then I throw in about a cup of um, Parmigiano cheese and uh, it is delicious. I throw that in last, the last minute that it's cooking. And I also use minute rice. So that way 
It cooks quick and you could use regular rice, but it just takes really long. That's really it. And uh, I'll show you guys when it's all done. I know Rosario will be excited. He's on his way home from work and I know he really enjoys this dish. So I'll show you guys what it looks like as it's mixing with the uh, garlic and onions. And my broth is boiling, so now it's time to uh, shut the broth off and then start throwing that in. As you guys can see, it's starting to, obviously I use brown rice, but it's not in a brown a little bit. It's getting a little toasty. And my broth is bubbling, so it's time to start transferring the broth one scoop at a time. There it is with the broth. I'm starting to eat it up now and get its flavor. Hey guys, I just got home and uh, from work and I came home to a delicious shrimp risotto. And, um... Yeah, I can't wait. Got some cheese here, my favorite, and um, yeah, can't wait to taste it. Well, that goes good, huh? Yeah, I like that. Look at that. It's cool. Now put your hands up. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna. Slide. Don't mess up now, you're on camera. There we go. I think that should be enough. Nope, we have a little bit more. You just go like that a little more. There you go. Oh, your cork doesn't look perfect. I'm good at this. You should let me do this. There we go. Oh, you got it. I'm going to get the cork out. There you go. Look at that. That goes good with that dish. Guys, so we are full. We just finished eating. I mean, I'm full. I've been getting full quick, as you guys know. Anyway, so I got... Rosario just got my bedtime pills together because we ate dinner at bedtime tonight, as usual. <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> yeah, so I got my pills all segregated. Yes, I like segregating all of them into groups. So now, when I put them on my spoon, you can see here, they're all in their groups. So this is this group. This is the little guys. And I got my other medium-sized ones, then the big guys, a couple little guys, and then them, two other big guys. So, <clears throat> I got about four spoons there, not bad. One, two, four spoons, not bad, that's pretty good. Four spoons for, s how many did you say? 16. 16, 16 pills, not bad. Four spoons for 16 pills, pretty cool. I'm liking this. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, and tonight I start my um, first um, appetite stimulator pill. So I know uh, I was warned that I'm not going to see results immediately and I'm not going to like, I made a joke to Rosario, I said if I want to start eating my bed sheets tonight if I wake up at like 4am, I told him you'll help get me something to eat right. And he started laughing, he said of course, but I just remembered that um, the nutritionist told me I won't want to uh, start eating things immediately, that it is going to take time. And. Um, <clears throat> it's actually, the med's actually an antihistamine that has, uh, <clears throat> I guess, something in it that makes you hungry. So I actually have to stop. I normally take Allegra, so I actually have to stop taking my antihistamine, the Allegra, and I'm going to take that in place. And it makes you drowsy, so that's why we're going to take it at bedtime, and it has to be taken three times a day. So to start off, I'm just going to take the bedtime dose as I was advised and then little by little we'll add in the other two doses during the day. And um, yeah, so hopefully it doesn't make me drowsy. Normally the antihistamines really don't get me too tired. Just uh, the meds that aren't made to make me drowsy normally do. And the ones that are supposed to make you drowsy don't make me drowsy. So. I always have the opposite effect, but um, we'll see, and I guess keep you guys uh, updated on my progress with this new medication, and um, yeah, the journey with this will start tonight, so um, wow, Zara is using the step stool getting some containers out to save the uh, delicious risotto that I made. And I am going to get to my pill taking time. So, got my applesauce, got my pill segregated, and I got my spoon. So, it's time to take my pills. <laughs> 